एक मगन बुझी एक मगन लगी वन मगन हुआ एक लगन लगी आया रे Hello viewers I am Joy Bimal Roy and I am delighted to read Dinesh Raja's review of Dobi ka zameen produced and directed by my father Bimal Roy Dobi ka zameen is a landmark classic for several reasons to begin with it was director Bimal Roy's first hindi film to make a seismic nationwide impact released in 1953 Dobi ka zameen kicked off the most creatively fertile decade of his life. Over the next 10 years he went on to direct classics such as Devdas, Madhumati, Sujata and Bandini. Secondly, it was with Dobi ka zameen that a struggling actor Balraj Sahni became a respected name and celebrated thespian. Think about it. Balraj Sahni was almost 40 when fame finally came his way. Thirdly, Dobi ka zameen is the recipient of a special mention at Cannes, winner of the Social Progress Award at Kalu Diwali, and was awarded the Best Film Trophy at the first Filmfare Awards ceremony. Dobi ka zameen has become a cinematic reference point for quality cinema. One of the first films to bridge the art commerce chasm, Dobi ka zameen is studded with songs, show, sure, and can be sentimental. but this tale of an impoverished farmer struggle to retain his land is also grittily realistic and set in a rural and urban world that is both dystopian and deromanticized the film opens with images of a parched earth and barren trees the country has just suffered a two year drought skinny bare-chested farmer shambhu mahato played by balraj sahni his wife paro nirupa roy and san kanaiya ratan kumar are delighted when it eventually does rain this portion of the film evokes a blissfully bucolic air utensils are strategically placed to catch water from a leaking roof boys eagerly lean over a well to gauge the water level below and kanaiya is let off from school early because the master's cows have wandered off but shambhu has more reason to crease his brows than the vagaries of inclement weather the local zamindar wants to construct a factory and needs to merge shambhu's little two acre plot into his land under the pretext of an old loan the zamindar demands that either shambhu return the money within 2 months or lose his land a desperate shambhu goes to kolkata to earn the required money kanaiya hides as a stowaway on the train and also lands in the alien city a megaphone mouthed but large hearted landlady gives them refuge shambhu learns to ply a hand pull rickshaw he even injures himself when he is egged on to push himself to the outer limits of endurance in an inhuman rickshaw race started by two sparring lovers the whole family helps him in trying to earn a few coins Paro wades into deep waters to collect vegetables and works as a construction laborer. Kanhaiya becomes a shoe shine boy. The film's moral issues are played out by Kanhaiya, who steals when he loses his job. The child repents, but further downturns in fortunes mean that the torpid reality of his family's lives refuses to change. the family return to their land only to witness a factory already standing on their dobi ka zameen the chimneys black smoke literally and figuratively blowing away their hopes bimal roy started his career as a cinematographer and this is one of the most evocative images captured in his cinema dobi ka zameen can be seen as a metaphor for the physical temporal emotional space that is the want of all human beings in their effort to live a life of their choice but which is often denied to them fortunately though the mata family may have lost their dobi ka zameen what i find touching is that they retain their humanity in a harsh world bimroy had seen the highly influential bicycle thief made in 1949 at the mumbai's first international film festival and was inspired by the italian neo realism movement balrat sahni's towering performance is the pivot of the film 
Despite being an urban sophisticate in real life, Sahani looked the part. He worked alongside real rickshaw pullers to practice his skill while his son Parikshit and his daughter sat in the rickshaw. Nirupa Roy bought clothes from Mumbai's Chor Bazaar to wear in the film. Roy wouldn't let her even wash the clothes before donning them on screen. When the director expressed surprise at her fitting so well into the rustic role, she pertly reminded him that she was from Balsar village, Gujarat. Nirupa tackled her part with understanding and understatement. Uh, let's go behind the scenes. Meena Kumari made a special appearance in the lullaby, Ajareya. She was working with Roy and Parinita when she saw the stills of Dobi Gazameen and expressed a desire to be part of the film. Trilok Kapoor, Jairaj, even Nasir Hussain were some of the names considered for the role till Roy saw Sani in the dark Hamlo, which was made in 1951. A short note about the music. Renowned music director Salil Chaudhary is credited with the film's story and he was asked to compose the film's score too. The rest is history. Thus began his rich composing career which includes classics like Madhumati and Anand. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will be back next week with Dinesh Raheja's review of the Bimal Roy-directed Dilip Kumar Suchitra Sen Vaijanti Mala classic Devdas.